Welcome to Car Side Reviews. I'm Adam Olinger. I'm in the parking lot, as you can see. Just got done seeing Richard Jewell. It's negative 10 outside because I'm an idiot and do a show called Car Side Reviews in Minnesota. Don't have the car running because the audio would be just a mess. So this is going to be quick. Just a footnote, I've been having to do this lately because people are get, new people uh, to the channel are getting the wrong impression about this video. It's not meant to be a case study into the picture or a deep dive. I'm not a professor of film. I'm a, I'm a jackass on YouTube with a, with a hobby. Um, so don't expect anything too intelligent here. I try to treat this show like I'm talking to my friends after seeing a film. Anyway, um, this movie, Richard Jewell, based on the real events of the Olympic bombing that took place and he was the hero of the event who was wrongfully pinned as the villain. I looked up the actor's name who played Richard Jewell just before I hit record and I already forgot it. Paul is in the name. <laughs> I can't look at my phone because it's recording over there. I'm sorry, but uh, he, he did a great job. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't recognize him from anything else. This is a Clint Eastwood film. He, you know, I full disclosure, I got pre-screeners to this. I wouldn't have gone had I not, because uh, I only have limited time and resources and it was a distance away. But if, it's, if they're gonna throw me a free movie, I will see it. Um, you know, I still have to wait in line like everybody else. It's not like a, a, a VIP presser or anything. It's just getting on a list and getting lucky. I did enjoy this quite a bit. I would watch it again and I do recommend going to see it. Um, it is, like I said, it's based on a true story. That said, this is a Hollywood film. They take a lot of creative liberties. And there is, I, I quickly saw an article right before the before I went to the movie, and there is controversy already surrounding it. I don't know if it's manufactured controversy or what to pump up publicity for this thing. Olivia Wilde plays a reporter in this, and I guess she's based off a true, a true character, a true person who's now dead, and they don't paint her in a very good light at all. And apparently some of the stuff that she does in the film was... They took a lot of creative liberties and not good. And this, this lady doesn't have a chance to defend herself. And there is a massive amount of hypocrisy if all that is true, because the whole point of this movie is to tell the story of how the media and, and, and the powers that be can feed into narratives together and things can just get incredibly out of control. And you can, you can hurt a lot of innocent people in the process, people that should have been propped up and praised for the heroic deed that was being done. And that is the case with Richard Jewell. For all intents and purposes, I have no reason to not believe this story. Um, I, I think it's pretty well known, especially in the, the Georgia area where, where this takes place, that this man was uh, trying to do the right thing. And because he had a suspicious background and met certain criteria, he was painted as the villain. I only saw one trailer for this, and had I known the cast was this impressive, I maybe I would have been more interested in seeing it. You have Sam Rockwell in this playing the lawyer Watson. It's a good name for a lawyer. He's terrific. He Sam Rockwell always is, though. You have Kathy Bates. I love Kathy Bates. She plays the mom. I mentioned Olivia Wilde. She's having fun in this role. She gets to play a young, up-and-coming, spunky reporter who's willing to do whatever it takes to get the gig. Controversy aside, it, it was an entertaining role to watch. John Hamm is here. He plays a prick FBI agent. We have a straightforward story. It's easy to watch, easy to digest. You know all the players. There's no confusion. There's not a lot of jumping around in time. And uh, yet yeah, the, the character of Richard Jewell is very interesting because you just, you're just waiting for him to break emotionally. And while he certainly does a little bit, it's not how most normal people would. And they, they paint this guy like essentially Paul Blart mall cop with, with definitely better ingenuity and the, the kindest heart you could possibly imagine. Uh, and that, that comes at a price. It's a tough watch. It's pretty heartbreaking. It's frustrating at times because Richard Jewell just, he's not getting it. Or, or he is getting it, but because he knows he's innocent and because he believes in the rule of law and he believes that that justice will prevail he's willing to go along with the ride be as cooperative as possible and there there's there's a there's a charm to it but there's also a, a level of just inferior <laughs> frustration 
I have had a, a string of good movies lately, and I dug this one too. This has been a good year for movies in general. I think this is one you go check out if you're not going to go see Jumanji 2 or whatever, Jumanji 3, but let's be honest, it's Jumanji 2. It, they, these have very, very little to do with the original Jumanji movie. I, I, would, I would go see Richard Jewell. I, I think it's worth the trip. Um, if, if you like this type of movie, just, just go in knowing there's not a lot of action. There's, there's not a lot of high stakes moments. It's really a, it's, it's a character film. There is some good laughs. There, there is some great heart. You, you might shed a tear. And uh, yeah, what, what else can you ask for? And make sure to like and subscribe and comment. I think that helps something on YouTube. I, I don't really know anymore. But it would be, it would be nice if you joined. And then we can, we can, uh, we can do this some more. All right, take care.